Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you an introductory example of using the analog to digital converter, ADC, of the AT Mega 32 microcontroller. At this point I don't describe everything about the ADC module of this controller. The ADC module of AT Mega 32 uses a successive approximation method to convert the input analog voltage. Its resolution is 10 bit, ranging from 0 to 1023. There are 8 analog input channels, ranging from ADC0 to ADC7. They are multiplexed with port A. This ADC module could convert up to 15,000 sample per second. The analog supply voltage AVCC is connected to VDD. In real world it should have a filter circuit to reduce electrical noise. The analog reference voltage pin, AVREF, is connected to VDD, to make a plus 5 volts reference voltage of the analog to digital conversion. In this programming example, the ADC0 pin converts an analog input signal, created by a variable resistor. Its 10-bit conversion result will display on port C and port D. Port C is a higher byte, while port D is a lower byte. I use an external 4 MHz crystal oscillator to run the MCU and its internal ADC module. So, now let's start writing codes. It will need only one library here, the io.h header file. I don't write any other function, rather than the main function. Port C and Port D are digital output ports. They indicate the digital values, created by the analog to digital conversion from ADC0 pin. Hence, their data direction must be set to output direction. PA0, or ADC0 pin must set to input direction, as the ADC0 is an analog input pin. I turn on the ADC module by setting the ADC enable bit of the ADC control and status register A. Setting the ADC start conversion bit of the ADC control and status register A to begin the analog to digital conversion. This line of code, I use while loop to test and wait until the conversion result is finished. After the completion of the analog to digital conversion, the controller sends its result to port D and port C. It will need to read the ADC data register low first, 
and the ADC data register high. Now it's ready to build this solution, to generate hex file to run microcontroller. It has some mistake in source code. So I need to find and correct them, then I build it again. Now it's ready for next step. In this simulator, I need to check the MCU parameter. The clock frequency should be 4 MHz. Now I click run button to begin the simulation. The variable resistor creates a variable voltage between 0 and plus 5 volts, for the ADC 0 pin to convert this voltage. ADC conversion result will display on port C and port D. I use two LED bar graph to display its result. Now I stop the simulation. For more details, you can visit my blog. Thanks for your time watching this video.